The important concept for Code Igniter is helpers. While going through different type of examples in session management, cookie management, error handling mechanism, form handling, and many more, even email configuration, we have seen through this part which is called as a helper. What is this helper all about? Well, in Code Igniter, there are helpers which are there to help you with different tasks. As the name suggests, these are some functions which are developed to help a user with various tasks available in it. So, helpers are not written in object-oriented format. It is not complicated access. It is simple and for the procedural functions. Okay. So, every helper file is a collection of functions aiming to perform a set of particular rules. Some of the helpers are file helpers, which help you to deal with the file. Text helpers to form various text formatting routines. Form helpers are there to form the form element. Cookie helpers to read the cookies or set the cookies. We have seen this. Even there are some URL helpers also, which assist in creating links, etc. So helpers are that's where like very simple, easy to understand. So it's not as like complicated in the object oriented way. It follows a typical procedure and that pattern is being followed in every way. To use helper files, the first thing we always did was to load it. And once it is loaded, it is globally available for all the controller as well as the view. So there are like two places where we load it. First is like inside the application and we have a helpers folder. And we also have a system helpers folder. So application helpers folder is the one which is basically used for project or the product that is a web development thing and if the helper is not found over there then they are something native helpers or inbuilt helpers which are there in system helpers folder let's go to our code base and check check out where is the application helpers and system helpers folder so this is my uh, complete application folder i close all the associated files and just keep application for now here i have a folder named helpers if you will check it out Let's browse inside. So here is something called as helpers. So this is like customized helpers created by the developer. If not here, then inside the system folder, like we have a system. Here we have helpers which are called as the native helpers. So these all are the helpers which are in built and code igniter. So there are array helper, captcha helper, cookie helpers and many more. If you open up the file, you get the associative code for the cookie. Now for cookie, you have this complete set of functions, which it calls. So it is something like you are calling up that library in some other language term. It's like you're calling up something or you're including that particular file. Like for form, I'll call the form helper. For cookie, I'll call cookie helper. If I need email, I'll call the email helper for email configuration and so on. So loading a helper also follows a particular syntax. So I'll open a new file and show you the syntax like how it is done. So loading helper, starting with it, a helper can be loaded in the controller constructor. It should be loaded inside the controller constructor. Why? Because constructor initializes the complete project. So loading a helper. Okay, starting with this point. Loading a helper, a helper can be loaded in the controller constructor. So it is done in dollar this load helper and the helper should have the particular file name so my file name if it is cookie it should be cookie if it is email then it should be email form then i should call for form so in this way it does and to load a url helper it is done in this way like the example dollar this load helper which is the url so this will load all the associated functions for the url and the first thing email will open for the all email configurations and so on if you want to load a multiple helpers okay just check out with loading multiple multiple helpers then what we should do in that scenario we should say dollar this load helper and here i should call for the multiple helpers for example i should say url and i say form then it will call for form then email 
and so on. So this helps in loading the multiple helpers. So this was another example. So in this way, helper keeps you like in a constant way, like what should be maintained. And it's like something which is putting a hand on it, like giving a helping hand for the existing system. Some set of functionality need not be reroute again and again. Like, okay, I need to keep a helper class of form. Then I simply call the helper for form and that's all. I can now create a form and close it and automatically the form will be displayed in the view. So it is like a helping hand only, something which is productive from the code igniter front. So that's why helper is very, very beneficial and it's more beneficial with respect to controllers as well as view. So this is the one basic concept which is actually present only in code igniter and in simple terms laymantum I can say helper is nothing but the one which helps with respect to functionalities of controller as well as view in code igniter.